To make a salt painting snowflake, you need a piece of cardstock or paper plate or a piece of cardboard, a pencil, some glue, salt, and watercolor paints and water. The first thing to do is trace your design on your paper. Now you could use a paper plate like I'm using, or you could use a piece of cardstock, a piece of cardboard, foam, pretty much anything that has a little bit of weight to it. Watercolor paper if you have, you just don't want to use plain printing paper because the water will soak right through. And you just, I'm doing a snowflake, but you don't have to do a snowflake, you can do any design that you want. Get your design lightly in pencil and then once you have your design the way you want it, you're going to take your glue and you're just going to trace your design with the glue. Just one little drop, you're going to run it all the way down. So you want to Follow the whole design with your glue, but you don't want to put too much glue. And trace your whole design with your glue. Once you've outlined your whole shape with the glue, you're going to take some salt, and I poured some into a little cup so that it makes it a little easier to work with. And you're just going to take some and pour it on top of your design. You don't have to worry about being too careful with this. You're just going to cover the whole area. So go all around the spot. If you want, you could put this on a piece of newspaper. You could put your whole paper plate on a piece of newspaper or a baking sheet, and that would help contain the mess a little bit. Pour your salt all over your glued area. And then shake it around a little bit. And once you're happy that all the glue is covered, then you're going to take the excess and dump it off. So you can dump it back into your little cup, or you could go dump it in the sink or in a trash can. Once you poured off your excess salt, now it's going to be time to paint. And this is the fun part. You're going to take your paintbrush, dip it in water, and you're going to really saturate your paint. You want it to be really wet. And then you're just going to take your paintbrush and just touch it to the salt. And look at that. Look at how it spreads. And if you want to add another color, just wet your paintbrush again. Pick a different one. I think I'm going to try red this time. And it's okay to mix colors because they'll just kind of blend together nicely and you can experiment with all different designs and all different colors and your picture will be this pretty 3D design once it's all finished. So go ahead and just keep painting your snowflake. And that's all there is to it. Once you're done painting over your entire design, set it aside and let it dry. Leave it for a good long time, probably overnight to make sure it's dry, and then you can hang it up. If you made a snowflake in the center of a paper plate, you could cut out around it so it's a circle and you could hang it. Or if you did something on cardstock, you could hang it on a fridge, hang it on a, in a frame. Make some salt art and send us photos.